So I feel there are a lot of unanswered questions in the world, questions that might remain unanswered during our lifetimes. Questions such as, are we alone in the universe? Do we have free will? How do you quit whim? You laugh right now, I had to borrow someone's laptop to give this talk because I got stuck on this slide. But something that is not unanswered is, how do we get insightful, meaningful data from our application? As an earlier talk suggested, Prometheus is a very widely used tool for this purpose. Uh, it emits data in the form of metrics, which are time series. Uh, it even generates some default metrics on its own. But the thing is, these me default metrics can only take you so far. Uh, they are useful in certain scenarios, but you still have to instrument your application in a manner that it provides you the data that you need. That is where custom metrics come in. Prometheus supports four types of metrics. I will only talk about a couple of them today, partly because I don't have the time, and partly because I only know two. Uh, yeah, as a matter of principle, I don't like talking about things I haven't done or don't know about. Uh, that's what elections are for. So, counter. Now, the name isn't really very intuitive, is it? So some of you may be wondering, what is a counter used for? Well, a counter is used for, and you are not going to believe this, counting. <laughs> I know, right? The thing about a Prometheus counter is, it can only increase in value, unlike cryptocurrency. Sorry, uh, slip of the tongue, I meant NFTs. Now, you can increase a Prometheus counter in value either by one or by any particular number you want. The important thing to note here is that when the process a counter is running for restarts, the counter will also get reset to zero. Moving on to gauges. Now, a gauge is more versatile than a counter. It's still a single numerical value, but you can do more with a gauge than you can with a counter. So just like a counter, it can increase or de increase in value by one or by a particular value. It can also go down either by one or by a particular value. You can also set a gauge to a particular value. So you can reset it to zero. You can set it uh, to a negative number if you're into that. You can even assign it any particular value you want. For example, if you want to know how much time a function took to run in, the la in its last run, you can set it to that. In addition to the, uh, these values, you can also set a Prometheus gauge to the current time. This is useful not only to know when a particular thing ran, but also to make jokes. Because when you are looking at your metrics, you can say, oh, look. My time has come. But hang on a minute. Do I, if I have similar metrics that I want to use for similar purposes, do I have to create new metrics all the time? Well, thankfully, no. That's where labels come in. Labels allow us to differentiate between the type of data that we are observing. So let's say that I want to observe the number of times a particular HTTP status code is uh, returned. So instead of having different metrics for each type of status code, I can have a single metric and use the status code as a label to differentiate between them. Great. So we can use labels to differentiate between data. Uh, another use case might involve uh, using labels to uh, track the number of requests by a user. Let's see how that would turn out. So you have decided to track the number of requests per user by using the user as a label also you happen to have a million users because you've done a good job. Congratulations. What happens now? You end up with a million metrics. Wait, what? Oh, uh, yeah. So long story short, don't do this. Don't hurt yourself unless you're into that. Don't use label sets for very large sets of data where you don't know how many types of values you could be able to get. So to summarize, gauges, up or down, counters, only up. So another example would be, for gauges, how many days since India has won a World Cup? Has it been over 10 years? Yes. Will it reset to zero? I sincerely hope so. Counters, number of World Cups. We can only go up from here. Another gauge, days since healthy meal. I know I have been eating out for two weeks. You may also be. You may have had a feel, uh, healthy meal just today. I don't know. Counters, only up. So number of days since you were happy with your life. Thank you. That's my time. <laughs>